one time I went to the city and I went to one of those massive arcades with mates and we've been drinking and went in and then <laughs> we go up to the punching machine. And with the punching machine, I found out because I, I went good form, right? Because obviously I trained, so I was like, I'll go good form. Didn't work out at all. You just want to go side on. Yeah, and, and just, just, and just, and just, just go for your life. So first time didn't go too good. Second time went all right. Then one of my mates go up to to do it, and he's a big boy. And not only that, he is very strong, like scary strong. He, for his size, he's very strong. And, and for some reason, this guy who worked there, he was this little Asian dude, and the place was packed. My mate, he just presses the button. The, 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 bag, comes. the bag comes down. He's ready to hit. And this worker decides to kind of get in his punching distance i guess oh, and he tries no. to sneak through and i'm sitting there and i'm like as if you're even getting this close and i should have said something but i didn't <laughs> and next thing i know he swings hits it and on the way down smacks this guy on the arm like it would have been the perfect corky and this <laughs> this little dude was just like, <gasps> like that and my mate was like i'm so sorry and i was like oh like, my mate was in the wrong, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, come on. Right, yeah, you it doesn't matter who you are. How'd you, you get in his punching distance? Way. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is Morikai with two eyes. We are back. We're going to be talking about arcades, because arcades might be one of the best places to go for a date. Oh, um, yeah. Catching up with mates. Just a chill, relaxed day. Have you ever got, wait, have you ever gone to an arcade by yourself? Thinking about it now, no. I don't think I could actually. No, I yeah, no, that's a that is a great question. No. Yeah. Which is odd as well. And the reason why I say it's odd is because often we see in movies, usually American, yeah, kids are just in there just chilling by themselves in new high school as well. No, I could not imagine doing that without someone being with me. Same. I guess the I remember once when me and my friend went, we did the boxing machine and we had a mission to make sure we beat the high score. We did, by the way. Hey, um, nice. So I could see if you were by yourself, maybe if you were really a big fan of some of the games, you may want to get your name up there. Um, but yeah, it was more for me. Like I know the one, our local one, they've, they've got table tennis tables. Yeah. Froth that so much. Absolutely oh, it's a great that. incentive. It's just good to have. But everyone can agree with me. When you go to an arcade, the best machine out of all of them is the basketball one. Oh, Hands mate, it, it, I would... God, if there was a stat to see how many times someone had touched their card on yeah. the basketball, like, I would hate to see the figures. Yep. Like, even per day, but then, like, per year, being like, all right, like, these are, like, bring these ones in, let's get rid of those. Like, that'd be really interesting. Do you know what's a good idea? How about we do top-tier arcade games okay, and low-tier arcade games that are just trash? Okay, yep, okay. cool. I'll, I'll start off, so... Yes, the basketball one is top tier. I think that one is. I feel like at that's the top like that's list. like yeah, that's just a staple. Easy. One of my favorite ones out of all of them is stacker. You're quite good at I'm stacker. Very I am good at stacker. terrible at stacker. I love it, but I'm terrible at it. Yeah, I've won quite a few times. I've won a Nintendo DS and an iPod Shuffle. That's pretty good. Yeah, and I I always you get, always get minor prize. Always, always, but I skip them. Always get minor prize. So. I always go for the big it's boy. Crazy, yeah. Mm. I, well, for me personally, again, and I, I think it's a bit of a fan favorite. A lot of people can play it. Ski ball. Nah, good call. I know. I know. Yep. Score wise, is a bit air, but actually, just like doing it and trying to get in that middle one. You know what? I it, have, now I don't that know, I'm with, like, it's a lot of fun. Like, it's really just it's laid back. It's chill. Yeah. But it's a good one. You can play it with a group of mates. Like, even if you're bad, you can somehow get some lucky ones in. That's yeah. what makes it good. I, now that I think about, it, I think if I've ever gone to an arcade, like those the basketball and yeah, this yeah, yes, that's always that, those been done. two are always the two, and then they are. I would say that it's probably in the not great arcade machines, but I'm a sucker for them, and they take at least ten dollars off me every time I'm in there. Is a claw machine. I don't know why, but I always yeah. I always feel the need. I like see, whether it's a Crash Bandicoot, a Dragon Ball Z character. It could even be a bloody Furby for a while. I go in there with the incentive of I look at each claw machine. I'm like, I'm definitely taking one of them home tonight. And then when I win it, I'm sort of like, fuck. What am I actually going to do with it now? Yeah, because I would do the chocolate like, one. I, oh, dude, sorry. The chocolate one. I used to play so much of the chocolate one back in the day. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, the, this chocolate claw machine, this would there would be heaps like of chocolate. Like, it was like robot with like two arms that yeah. would like swing in and like just... 
Oh, like not that it. one. Oh, I know the one you're one. talking about. Yeah, you explain that one next. The one I'm talking about is just a simple claw machine. There's It's stacked with chocolates, your flakes, your crunchies, your cherry ripes, and it would drag it across. And if you got a good bunch, it would be sick because then it would go to a little platform where it had a pushy edge and you had heaps of chocolates on this edge. And if you, the more you dropped on, then the more you could push yeah. off and hopefully get some... Um, get some That's goodies. sort of like what the robot, yeah, the robot. The robot was did. with the hands, wasn't yeah, it? How it was like it two hands, up. yeah, yep. and then like like dump it on the, the neck again, conveyor belt, and just push it, Would and you, just be like waiting, like come on, come on, like trying to like shake it a little bit, and then like or then all of a sudden it just drops, you get your little bag that's on the side, you're like oh my god. <laughs> Would sort of you thing. call that um the machine? Since we're talking about the the pushing, um, the one with the coins, you yeah, know how it have a massive is, stack of that coins. That is massive. By the way, like. Whenever I go into again our local arcade, that the Willy Wonka one is always busy. Yeah, like always. And granted, I've got quite a few of the, the people cards. Like I've had like my TV, Willy Wonka, Charlie, Grandpa, and all that. I th- I actually have quite a lot of fun on it, but mate, I don't know how people spend a whole session in the arcade purely on just that. Yeah. I do no, I love agree. the Wacker Hammer one, but I don't like how it is now because the hammer isn't loose. So you, it's like a flick of the wrist. And I can't get enough power in that, man. Yeah. At, at our local, there's a good uh, game that I've only seen there where it's like beer pong. Yeah. There's heaps of cups set up and you just got to throw the balls in the cups. I was like, I fucking love this. Yeah, that one's awesome. Um, I'm a big fan of the, the Pirate Wheel. Yeah, okay. Where you can get like, it's like 1,000 tickets, 750 tickets. I've hit 1,000 on that. Is that, that the, many times. Is that the massive you wheel you pull down, and you yeah, hope it spins? Yeah. I love it. It's, it's like so price basic, is right. but mate, easily every time I'm there, 20, 20 bucks. Easy. Yeah. I, I'm wondering if you would find it topsy. I do. Is the punching machine. Oh, the punching machine's. Oh, punching machine in a group is grouse. Yep. I feel like, even I suppose if you have one, mate, but if you're in a group, it is it is such a go-to. There was one time I went to the city and I went to one of those massive arcades with mates and we've been drinking and went in and then we go up to the punching machine. And with the punching machine, I found out because I I went good form, right? Because obviously I trained, so I was like, I'll go good form. Didn't work out at all. You just want to go side on and and just 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 go for your life. So... First time didn't go too good. Second time went all right. Then one of my mates go up to to do it, and he's a big boy. And not only that, he is very strong, like scary strong. He, for his size, he's very strong. And, and for some reason, this guy who worked there, he was this little Asian dude, and the place was packed. My mate, he just presses the button. The, the, little, bag, comes. the bag comes down. He's ready to hit. And this worker decides to kind of get in his punching distance, I guess. Oh, and he tries no. to sneak through. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, as if you're even getting this close. And I should have said something, but I didn't. <laughs> and next thing I know, he swings, hits it, and on the way down, smacks this guy on the arm. Like, it would have been the perfect corky. And this <laughs> this little dude was just like, <laughs> like that. And my mate was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And the guy was like, oh. Like, my mate was in the wrong, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, come on. No, yeah, you it doesn't matter who you are. How'd you, you get in his punching distance? Way. Yeah, You know the machines, like, while we're just on just arcade in general, one that I, I – they're there, and I never really do, is, like, the – it might be, like, a Transformers Jurassic Park one, where, like, you sit inside the machine, and it's, like, a visual, like, sort of – Yeah. Oh, man, I just never really, like – as a kid, I used to love the ones where, like, you hold a gun, and you step on the thing, and – get behind cover like that stuff I used to love and not so much anymore it just do you doesn't know really what? do that much for me uh, now that you say it, the machine that is in there the most with different variations that I never ever use unless a friend says hey verse me is the driving machines yeah the car ones the motorbike the car ones, ones yeah the, the motorbike all ones. them they don't interest me and all that no but there's always so many of them there's heaps again again Great with mates, but if it's just you and my, like, I don't know, it's never like, uh, probably now being at this age, it's not something that's a go-to for me. Oh, hold on. I might have confused these. Ski ball? Yeah. Did we talk about that before? Are you talking yeah. about the different one? No, that's that's ice hockey. They're well, not ice hockey, but like air hockey, air hockey. Oh, 
So when you said ski ball, ski ball is that one. Yeah, I sorry, that one is one of my favorites. That one is good, but I was air con- hockey. I was confusing is also air amazing. Hockey. And yeah. you can just be like, pull like as hard as you can, yep. mate. If your fingers aren't inside that thing, good luck to you. Yeah, because you are crying. I mix those two up because I no. love ski ball. Ski ball is so good because I just keep going for the ten thousand yeah, points you have top to. right. Yeah, you have to, man. <laughs> you got to show off. Yeah, and then the best arcades as well is because so there's a few different like well. I've been to a few different ones. So there's the one at the moment, which is our local. It's a card and all that. Your points accumulate on that. You can either get some low. Some of the prizes actually aren't too bad. I remember, like, they used to have really good pop vinyls back, especially when I was collecting pop vinyls. Oh, we should Even talk about, Pokemon we should cards. Talk about prizes. They, they used to do Pokemon cards. And I remember this was before Pokemon took off. So, mate, the price of a card might have only been, like, 500 points. 500 points was so... I would leave there all the time with easily 10 packs. And then, now if you go there, and I don't know if they still do Pokemon cards or not. I think last time I went there, though, one pack was 1,500. Yeah, they like, know it such, too. Yeah, they, they jumped on board. But, mate, Zombie Chews, Zappos, Chop Chops, Peanut Butter Cups, and then you'd have your shitty little sticky toys rulers and all this. Hold on, crap. hold on, hold on. Sir, sir, if anyone's watching this... And they look up above me. I have got two of those oh, sticky actually, hands great, that we're talking yeah, about. Great that is one of my favorite toys of all time. Like to win at an arcade. I would, I would be on the way home with mum and dad in the car, just like oh, ripping open the box. Yeah, and like, you're sticking it to the window. Yeah, sticking it to the window. <laughs> like that stuff. And then do you remember actually the prize? And it was like plastic. It was like a half like sphere. And you like turn it inside out, put it down, and then it lay up. And like it would like bounce up. I do, and, and you know then, the only reason I remember that is because you made that popping sound. Yeah. I remember that actually. Like them, then there was like the you could like, I oh know it was like eraser. Like a, they were pretty shit. Yeah, oh. <laughs> dude, you ever get to start with a eraser that could erase pens? Yeah, slime. Slime was always. I would always get slime. Mum would. I still to this <laughs> day actually it's, hilar- toy, it's yeah. hilarious because. One slime. Oh, we went to. I remember we were in Queensland. Went to an arcade in Queensland. I oh, won slime. I was like, no, you can't have it. It was like this, I don't know, it was in like a garbage container. It was like, to- it had like toxic written all over it. But it wasn't green slime, it was black slime. Black slime? Yeah, and mum was like, no, you can't have it. To this day, and rest in peace to my brother, because I reckon there's still a stain of black slime somewhere on the carpet in that room, unless it's been relayed, because I know for a fact it went into the carpet, <laughs> and I got grilled so bad. Yeah, I can so see it from bad. a parent's perspective. Putty? Putty? Oh, in yeah. In the toilet and be like... <laughs> yeah, I do yeah. remember putty And you'd always have yeah, Whoopee cushions as well Yep Whoopee cushions Yeah They were some good ones um, You'd have like the other ones as well Where oh, the ra- Do you rattlesnake eggs So were the two magnets Where they, they clip together And be like yeah. Like that Make that like an Irritating noise What were some of the ones That The toys back then That were really Expensive and, Sorry not expensive That cost a lot of tickets Because I remember I would see something Oh Robo Sapien a Robo Sapien. That's Robo Sapien, that it? white robot. With, like, yeah, with that. Yep. And be like, like yep. that thing. Yep. That one was always so much tickets. I'm trying to actually think now, like what was huge when, um, because that's the thing as well. Like it ever, it, it changed so much as well. Because like back when I, as a kid, would go to these arcades, it was a ticket and you would just be there for ages with your tickets, like in like this man, and you'd be like, like legitimately having like a plastic bag full of tickets. Yeah, and if you did your math, you would realise if you did go back and spend a lot of money to get the highest toy. Oh, you could easily you just buy it. You, like, you could have bought like nine. Yeah, oh, well and truly, <laughs> mate. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Was actually ridiculous. There's some people that on YouTube, they're so good at the arcade games that they'll go in, they'll spend a certain amount of money. And you know these days there's um, some of the prizes like Nintendo DS or a Switch or something like that. And they're so good at the games, they'll actually make a bit of a profit. Like they'll save a hundred bucks. They'll go really? in. Yeah, there's that's some, actually amazing. There's some YouTubers that'll go in and they have specific games where, what's that game where there's all these points in the middle and then there's all these lights around the outside like a circle and the lights will just keep chasing around the circle and you've just got to hit the button at the right time to catch oh, it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know the one. Yeah, yeah. They'll play. They'll play games like that and. Always win the max prize well, constantly. It's funny. So when I used to go in the arcade, I would just play what I liked. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, no, I don't accumulate points. So then I would actually like be like, all right, like what's the jackpots on like certain machines? Mm. I'd play those ones because like, well, this is easy points for me. Yep. Like I know for a fact I can leave with like a decent prize. Yeah. 
you know what other one I want to talk about is bowling and mini golf. Now that we're on these like sort of like games yeah, what you do, kid. yeah, yeah, yeah. What well, did bowling? I felt like was you would do a couple times a year for kids' birthday parties. Bowling was always such a good kids' birthday party. Once I finished high school with a good group of mates, I reckon I went bowling. I shit you not, like maybe once once a week for maybe three weeks to a month to the point where my mate actually bought his own bowling ball. Oh, really? I never, I never did that. Could you go bowling alone? No. Yeah. No, I'd have to be with mates, man. Yeah, same. And even when I'm... It's funny because I... So I'm the sort of person who, like, I'll hear bowling and I'll be like, oh, like... I'm, I'm like, in my head, because I, like, I know that I'm not that great at it. I'm like, oh, I kind of really can't be asked with bowling. But I love having a chat like this at bowling yep. with people. So I'll go there. But, and then sometimes I'll actually impress myself and be like... Oh, well, I actually wasn't that bad. And then there'll be other times where it's got to ball cut, and I'm just like, I fucking hate bowling. Yeah, Why the, did we do this? The type of good bowling you go to with mates is the one where you're all talking shit, laughing, and then you just hear it, the, you know, the behind you just... come on. Just, like, no, someone gets a strike. Yeah, it's exactly. Rough. And also, can we just talk about why is it so fucking awkward after that walk back to the seats? <laughs> I hate that. I don't. No matter what you do, you celebrate a strike. You look like a fucking dickhead. You get a gutter ball. You look like a dickhead. You strike seven or split pin. That walk back and that initial while you wait for the next lot of pins to drop, where you're just sort of waiting. Yeah. I hate that. I hate that so much. I hate the one guy in the group that's taking it seriously while everyone else Oh, there's, else always, is there's there. always one. There's it's always. not too bad now being adults as well, because like drinking and bowling is actually a bit of a fun time. Yeah. Yep. I, um, yeah, I couldn't do it alone, though. It's just, I think after the first couple of bowls, I'd be like, fucking, this is. It's completely boring to me. One thing I could do alone if there was some type of incentive, like maybe I was making a video or I don't know, maybe this was popular as a sport is mini golf. Mini golf's just fun, man. Mini golf for fun. the for the most part, mini golf is quite fun. Yeah. Like I suppose it depends. I know, especially these days, we now have we're pretty lucky. Like we've got two mini golf courses near us. I prefer the I would say the the one that's been around a lot longer, the cheap one. If anyone has ever been holy moly, I, hate I, holy I just moly. want to say, you know, quickly, quickly though, I like the ideas. I like that it's very like over the top. It's very thin and all that. But actually, for mini golf, it is just overpriced and shit. It's actually the courses shit. themselves are really, really tiny. Like not like it look appear. It's very visually. It's really nice to look at. It really is, and you can drink. So like, there's that side of it as well. Like. You're paying, though, just for an expensive... Like, it's really no. not all you're, that. You're spot on to anyone And everyone there, really just wants that Buddy Simpsons photo on the Simpsons couch. That's all they want. That is all they want. If anyone goes to Holy Moly, they're not doing it's, it for the mini golf. They actually want to sit down to make sure they could take that photo It's the either that couch. and everyone always has a Holy Moly hat. Yep. It's like 30 bucks, by the way. Yeah, Holy Moly is overrated. If, if you wanted an actual good time, bring a flask... Sneak in a flask to an actual mini golf yeah, course like I, and have a fucking ball. Like, That's what I would do. Like I much rather, and it's 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 funny. Like I would much rather, and I did. I my missus was like, "Oh, should we do Holy Moly or like the other one?" And I was like, "I'm doing the other one." And she's like, "Oh, isn't it?" And I'm like, "No, it's ex- like where the guys." She was terrible, and she won't mind me saying that. She was shit, but like, it's, <laughs> but. It was fun as, man. Like, that mini golf, you know exactly the one that I'm yeah. going. It's so funny. I love the indoor course, by the way. I'm yeah. terrible at the outdoor. Yeah. And uh, there's something everyone will know, which they absolutely hate. Never go never go mini go- actual mini golf on a weekend. Oh, if, that's if dumb. You're, if you're that's stuck really behind dumb. a young family or an old, uh, it doesn't fucking matter. If there's someone in front of you and someone behind you and you're now stuck and you can't move up or you can't go back to the hole you're at and just fuck around... You've fucked up. You've wasted your money. Go at a time when no one's going. That's yeah, when you enjoy no, it the most. That is great advice because, yeah. oh, mate, the amount of times that I've been there on a weekend and it's like, why? What have I done? And you've got two kids running around. They're yeah. trying to pick up your ball and then trying to throw their ball on, on your – it's just It is a nightmare. Worst. Yeah. But mini golf in general, man, is great. Especially, And, again, the other reason why I love I – w- I want to say our local one is because they have, like, scores of the day – yeah. And granted, it might just be a buddy Freddo. 
it's a nice little incentive though because it is. you may you might be playing with four mates. Yep. Your score could be let's say seventy one, and you're like, oh crap, other people will have fifty four, sixty, or whatever. But you'll be like, oh excuse me, can I just say what the score of the day is? Uh so the score of the day was fifty five, sixty six, and seventy one. You could come last, but you're still technically a fucking winner. Hey, it's bloody awesome. Nice More places cream. need to do that. They do. Even if, again, even if it's only like a Freddo or Mar, like whatever, mm. like, but make it more fun. Definitely. And stuff like that. Yeah. Mate. Oh, to bring it a perfect point, I don't want to go to video games, but I just want to make this point. Me and Lee have played Call of Duty a lot. We've gone through every single Call of Duty. And for some reason, as they've gone on, it has felt less rewarding. There's not as much pop-ups on the screen that come up when you get a kill. Yeah, the sound. They take away stuff. the leveling system in a way. It just it feels like you're just going through the motions. So when you do play mini golf and there's things like um, a mystery score of the day, best score of the day, things like that, you're like, stuff oh, like that. It's there's awesome, man. something like, about humans. Cool. You need yeah. incentive. You can't Most just go definitely. with yeah. Most definitely. I think another, I know that we're sort of, just looking at the time, yeah, we're cool. We still... Can I just say as well, while we're talking about like sort of arcades and mini golf and stuff, laser tag. Or la- laser tag slash laser strike. Yep. They're two very different things. And it's also, I personally found, it's only enjoyable with the right group. Oh, 110%. Yep. Because like there's laser tag where it's like you got to wear like a backpack sort of system and all that. And then there's like another one. Like laser strike, where it's more like you got to shoot like at the gun. I've mm. noticed that one's so difficult. Yeah, and an outdoor. Uh, by the way, if you ever get the chance to do outdoor, do outdoor. No, Outdoor's ju- so fun. Just do paintball. Oh well, paintball again. Paintball's <laughs> great. Paintball, <laughs> unless, though, you- unless you get that fucking. You're just trying to have fun. Unless you get going up that team that's just started the day where they've so all got their serious. own guns. I hate they've that. all got their own gear well, and they that, take it fully. Like yeah. and you're like, mate, like just relax. <laughs> I went there once with a group of mates, and I was after a night out. I had no sleep, and I was yeah, group of mates fucked. Yeah, mate, I was there with you. We're playing capture the flag. I Were you there, mate? I was that dude, fucked. Dude, I, I hated it. You know, and the reason why we're on the same team. I say to Luke, I'm like, mate, playing capture the flag. I was sort of like, I was, a I was still pretty like with it at the time, but I'm just like, mate, like I, I want to win pretty bad. Cover me. Yeah, mate, no worries. Goes to cover me, shoots me. I remember being like, mate, what are you doing? You're like, oh, no, man, I just saw someone I just wanted to shoot. <laughs> I was mate, so it fucked. was so painful. Yeah. <laughs> I, and I also remember oh, before we went up the other team, they're like, oh, go spread out. And I'm just walking through the woods. And I didn't run off. So I just <laughs> see all this team come up and start shooting pals. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? And I start <laughs> sprinting back. And everyone's hiding while I'm just standing in the middle. Mate, I was gone that day. But I, <laughs> that was fun. Uh, Paintball can be fun, but I think we went, oh, not then. There might have been a different time we went. They, again, if you get caught up with that group that's either doing fucking marine training yeah, or like they're way, tra- too way too serious, it's shit. Because not only are you going to lose. Yeah, you're, like, you're there for a fun day. They're yeah. there for like almost competition. They do it nearly every like it's week. It's legitimately practice for them So that way when they're playing competition. Yeah, and like, they know exactly what they're doing, and you're just trying to have fun for a day. Yeah, and then, if, then even the, if you shoot one person, yeah. like, shit, 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 like. if you shoot one person, you're you're buzzing. You're like, oh my god! I fucking, like I remember I got a mate in the fucking head, and I was like, am I seeing things or did I actually get him? And it was just, it was so yeah, just good. awesome. But mate, can we just? I don't know. We'll wrap it up here. If you're planning on doing paintball, wear a cup. Wear, wear a cup if you're a male, well, male and or female. Definitely wear a cup. But also, expect to like spend a bit of coin. It is yeah. nowhere near as... I could not believe how much just a refill of paintballs That's was. That's so true. Because and when you, you just p- burn through it, like you have to... It's so, it sounds stupid, but don't be really nearly with the... like. Make sure like you're backing yourself in because yep. the refills are so... I could not believe how much money I yeah. spent. What I thought was going to be like a chill fun. I was actually like... I kind of spent a bit of money. Exactly. Like, I don't know. Like you'll be further in the day, and say you got a hundred paintballs. You'll be you'll be in the end, and you'll so you're sitting there. Like, I've only got like five left, and you have to reserve your shots because you've been going gun ho at the start, and then you, as you said, you've spent so much money. You're like oh, I don't want to spend more, and it's the worst because you you're limited, and you have to go. Okay, I can only shoot a couple of times now, and then a couple of times the next game. 
or I have to spend another 50 bucks. Yeah, it it's sucks. ridiculous. Because I did that on indoor. We went together on that indoor. Do yeah, you we did. Because yeah. you shouted me a cup because everyone was talking about how you need a cup and I didn't bring money on. I'm like, yeah, what are you I remember that sliding on my knees. God, that was fun. Yeah. Oh, very good. <laughs> All right, guys, that was Morikai Two Eyes. If you enjoy the show, make sure to leave a five-star review on Spotify. Let it go over to our YouTube. Send us a comment. Send us a message. Yeah, send us a message. Reach Anything. out. Anything. More than Check happy. out us on Instagram as well and Twitter. Mm-hmm. We're on so much stuff now, man. We're just, we're just on it all. Keep up the support. Keep on uh, gaming. Gamers. And keeping on. <laughs> and uh, as always, thank you for listening. Morikai with two eyes. We're going to go get a burger. Boom. Yummy.